Oh boys, my name is Kaliyoshi. You're watching my 100% blind playthrough of uh, the last Park Hunter DLC for Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. In the last series of videos, we left off finally completing the crazy Tower of Doom. Honestly, the fact that you had to do it more than twice has made it, like, probably my least enjoyable DLC. Just the fact that it was just so spammed and uh, stuff, and the fact that um, it just took so long to get 100% is what really annoyed me. I was actually, not gonna lie, I was feeling tempted to just not pay for the rest of the DLC stuff, but... I'm glad I gave this one a try for sure. Looks like we're back to the normal expiration we're used to seeing in this game, so that'll be good. The only problem is this world works massive. The only good news is I think this is the only world we have to do in this whole area, so I guess that's a little bit of a silver lining. And it's also fun to be able to explore because now you get to be more peaceful, you can enjoy the game for a bit longer, you can see what to do. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I completely forgot to assign skins to our characters since we got a new series of stuff um, for being all of the different difficulties, we got a sassy version of each individual, um, weapon. Although, honestly, I wish it, it looks more, or almost like an altered version of the galactic weapon, or actually a lot like Curse's cover, actually, more than anything. I don't know how that could be called sassy, but... Whatever you guys say, I guess. <laughs> Whatever the game says, I guess, counts. We haven't used Rabbit Rose yet because, let's be honest, having characters that do more AoE is better than most regular battles. But when you have tinkier or tougher opponents to deal with, Rabbit Rose is very good for boss battles. So, well, once again, and for any boss battles. Sorry about that. I, was <laughs> I banged my desk on accident. That sometimes happens. Ugh, what kind of puzzle do we have here, man? Good grief. Well. Where is the teleporter thing again? Well, this makes sense why we have this uh, block here now. Because we have to put it down here. I have just a single ladder can force you to do a completely different setup for a puzzle. Because it's like, oh, you can't walk across while you're carrying this, so you have to just walk first, go around, and do something else before you can actually do. Oh. I was wondering where that was actually. I hadn't found that yet. So, yeah. We're just walking around with Princess Each. Don't mind me. Just having some fun here. Yeah. Alright, well, looks like we got this puzzle done. This probably is a required puzzle because I don't see any other place to go. This area it also is very massive, so it'd be very tough to figure out where to go anyway. And now we can move on a bit further. We got Ren of Two Cells as well. 
If we find a checkpoint, we might go back and get two star potions early and see. Right. But before that, we need to get a couple more. Oh, we got some more arcs. I completely forgot about that because I'm not used to getting this many. I don't think there's like a method of infinite I mean, like we did before, so we need to make sure giving these to the right monitors. Do a down more Ganshu fan, why not? Alright. Something tells me we're probably gonna have to use all the characters in the final battle of this world again. Did the last time. We now know that there's a potential party split thing that can happen. By the way, that's sort of a reference to a couple of our RPGs. Before this game had its... Oh, wait, hang on, wait a minute. Oh. Mario knows this is something. It might be the start enter. Looking for... Oh, what's this? I see. So if you play anything, it gives you an icon that. Oh my gosh, now what? Oh, even more? So every little bit, we get a new uh, thing added in. Until we eventually continue onward. Yeah. Yeah. I see why they call this the Meldic Gardens now, because uh, some of the faces ends make noise when you're going around. Oh, wow, that is a very late game one. Not like the level 31 thing we had before at all. We'll have to remember that for later. I guess we're going to continue heading on. Well, now we know how to get this. If only we learned that at the beginning of the game. I have done random spins before that. I just didn't know that's what triggered the those particular function parts over there. All right. So all in all, only one normal actual required battle here. But this area looks really massive, so there's probably going to be even more stuff to do. Ow, where are we? This is the concert pond. I recognize it from the many pictures I've seen. It is, or was, the very heart of the planet. Beepo, I am detecting several rabid life forms within that darkness puddle. <sighs> that must be the Melodic Garden's award-winning musicians trapped inside! Hurry! 
Alright, looks like we're doing this. Well, yeah, I'm trying to spit to do this. Since there's not a lot we can do in this battle, it seems our path is pretty linear from here. Alright, what kind of story nonsense do we have to do now? Oh, this is like another weird AoE battle. But we have to free the musicians from their cages. You also have another different outer. Here's the old rabbits, right? You can free them by dashing at switches next to the cage. But for those creatures, they caught cell pills of poison and dark mess. I've never seen anything like We've that. Never seen that before either. Better use the tactic cam to find out more about this new fall. Stu, if you win this battle, I get to leave it for our, After all, I'm team here all the way. Alright, um... I'm thinking of going for a more tanky butt movement-based setup. Uh, that does not involve healing, nor does it involve putting Rabbit Mario in our team, so I think we need to put in... Uh, no, actually, what am I doing? Uh, manage team. There is no AoE setup, so we don't need Rabbit Luigi anymore. We'll replace him with Rabbit Mario, I guess, and do we have any more AoE? Nah, this is sort of like a movement-based board. In fact, since this is a movement-based board, we'll just say Edge is our new mastermind for movement. We... Yeah, maybe, and we'll change our skill tree setup that has as much movement as we can get on each of our characters. Hey, okay, Mario already has his. Peach needs some um, team jump stuff and extra fat. We'll actually remove this briefly. We don't actually really need the death bull thing on most characters. Just keeping it to be funny. <laughs> but real talk, it's not actually a good of a ability. Um, let's remove a bit of range. We don't really need range on this, so if we can. That might be better. And then, man, Mario does not. Oh, actually, we can just give him a bit of range with that, I guess. Alright, um. We're gonna do that because I think I'm gonna use Peach again. I feel like I've been using Rabbit Peach a bit too much, and I think because of protection, regular Peach can actually help more. And also, Edge has a lot of dashes, so he'd be great for this battle. Lily just dashing non-stop. Oh, I, I, we should actually check, too. What do we have? They are immune to literally everything. Oh, boy. It's this kind of enemy type again. One of the AoEs needs replacing in. I don't know exactly which one to do. We'll put in Gargantu Fan instead, and I actually probably just have Peach with a bit of regen. That would actually be great, because she then becomes a super tank, and ideally we could just take a lot of it. And now we're gonna go. Alright, um... We're gonna start off with Team Barrier at the beginning like we usually do. And we'll probably have to just do one area at a time to not make it too risky. Uh, so, we should start up on the top first. And way on to the bottom slowly. Don't have a point, but that's fine. We could have Rabbit Peach put in with extra dashes as well. Maybe we could have gotten that.
Not cool. Now hearts burn. Uh, uh, Guess what, guys? The original set for Rabbit Mario's back again. <laughs> Remember that set we used to do to destroy the enemies? Yeah, we get to do it again here now. That's why having glitter, and that is why having glitter on Rabbit Mario is the best possible set we can have because, uh, since Rabbit Mario is all about close range, luring the enemies in gives them a chance to just whomp multiple of them at once. It's also really good if you can stack it with other AoEs, because then Zers can also AoE down. I do not want to play Risky, but I also don't want to do nothing to this so we're gonna have to use Vamp Dash. Hell, I think. <laughs> One's the furthest away, and that one, but I can't reach it. But we can reach that one. Oh, this is perfect. There's nobody else there on the other side. We're fine. I threw all the tankiest characters in because I fear we might have to survive for a bit longer, and I'm thinking we might be able to. I think thinking we're best uh, playing this safe, having characters with either heals or as much possible help as we can get that will let us survive while we're on enough. Okay, so that's the darkness thing that happens in this battle. Actually, it looks like we need to be able to go down there to do the attack setup. <laughs> Alright. Well, in that case, Edge is gonna have to bite a little bit of a um, somewhat. Not a bullet, but a puddle. So we have to see what this does. Oh, it's not just aggravating, it's constant. So every time I move through it, it does me constant damage. So that actually dealt a lot more damage than I thought. I thought it was just a one-time effect, but it just has stay uh, Hey. Okay, note to self, do not deal with those guys. Or some other way to defeat them. Although, what else was I supposed to do? Literally everyone was already here. Oh, more enemies coming everywhere. Well, we're not going to be up there, so I'm not too worried about that. Whoa! Okay. Well, that's just Goomas. That's fine, I guess. Whoa, we spawned way up higher than I expected. 
I'm not sure if you guys saw, but they, they were supposed to stay down there, and he moved all the way up there instead. Okay, whatever. Okay, that also does increase damage to portals. Good to know. Alright. Edge is kind of in a risky scenario now. He kind of has to stay behind cover. Probably can't safely go until he has vamp dash back so he can heal. Alright, um... Mario still has, Rabbit Mario still has his free attack. He has his boomin. I'm just gonna... I'm hoping I can big out a setup where... The dude doesn't even use his portal ability at all. That'd be ideal. I don't actually want to free that. I think that'll actually give us a bit of... So as tempting as it is to do something to that, I say we just reset. If anything, we put this on Peach to give her a bit of healing power. Okay, so the only way that could go uh, thing is if we defeat the enemy that's the fat. Although we could have fixed it very earlier by just having someone lure the enemies in instead. Oh, we have protection, but we're not gonna help with a trick this time. Oh, Peach needs to do this. Let's do that, probably. He has smart play. First, then we won't have to deal with them. Kind of. Him so we can hit all the enemies with the dash eventually. We'll just dash those enemies as we vamp dash as we possibly can. Any more else? Any more else? Okay, that's really good. Where do I actually want to throw him up? I think I'm gonna throw him as close to the farthest away when I can possibly get. <laughs> now I just dash to free these one at a time. Awkwardly, we do not have enough range to free all of them with S Edge, unfortunately. Go. Here we go! If we want to make it work, we need to first move Mario to that side. She needs to team jump just to get his move back.
have a team jump lane. Let's just upgrade the pass the turn. It's easier than doing anything else. Have to waste a bit of time before all the spawning, but we got that done somewhat quickly anyway. Alright, so having Engineer was a good choice, because of the large amount of dashing we needed to do. I got they made some epic puzzles that exclusively require dashes now, so you pretty much want to use Edge if you want to have the easiest chance of winning these battles quicker. <laughs> Now we see if this is the last spark hunter or not. Mm -hmm. No, nope, he's not. She is not. She's actually her. She was just watching what we did in the background. Though I could not be certain, I believe I detected someone spying on us after we landed. It was you, affirmative. I'm Allegra. Warden of the Melodic Garden. Surely you could forgive my oh, caution. Thanks. After all, you do not appear to be typical heroes now, do you? Oh. I like it. Thank you very much. A dark shadow. We've had our share of visitors recently. On a sour note, we've seen seen in Shadow Oni orchestras our have Vic here. And hence the fallen stars to whom we gave sanctuary throws our garden's melody into chaos. Ah. Spark under here? Not possible. We took care of them. All of them. So. I cannot say that they put my dear musicians in danger and terrorized the Pulsen And driven my dearest friend to hiding without whom we cannot perform Silence. our biophonies. And without our biophonies, the melodic gardens will fade into nothingness. A silent coda to the galaxy. Farewell. Beyond this gaze of well used passage that I hope shall seem uh, oh, oh, shall s see me find my friend unharmed. You may fall if you wish. Alright. Alright. Interesting. Now we have Vamp get instead. I get we're getting all the healing stuff now. It's almost like we are expecting to find a lot of enemies that have resistances to all status effects, so we need stuff that does non elemental damage to make it work. All right. <laughs> that might be the actual start. Mm. Right on time. Oh, I've been looking forward to this counting on it actually. Mario. I've had I heard a lot about the galaxy's toughest fighters, Mario, Bowser, and Funny, because I'd never heard of you. Don't forget, you'll need it when you're begging me for mercy. You who should beg off? Not one of Cursor Spark Hunters has proven capable of stopping us yet. I'm no Spark Hunter! I'm no Spark Hunter. No puppet of curses either. I got my own plans for those sparks, and Cursa isn't a part of it. My friend. Whoever you are, you will release my friend at once, leave the sparks here alone, and be gone. <laughs> sure thing. Got it. Ooh, I almost forgot. Your pat. It's probably too late for it. Should have said something earlier. Forgive me. I am so oh yeah, I am truly am, but I must go. That's better. Now where was I? Oh yeah, the differences between me and Cursa. I got a keen sized vision for the future. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, this is where the dude from the comes out. A metallic version of King Bomb. -om. I think this is actually our first true boss battle now. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. What can we do against this boss, I wonder? How well can we do against this boss, I wonder, actually? This is gonna be interesting. Since we got first in, I assume we have to do that. Okay, we just have to defeat this vein, but there's a problem. It's completely immune to damage right now. But we're also getting our ability. Come on. Until you do something about the giant robot shield, it's practically invulnerable. You don't need to use bomb bombs to do that. Kind of poetic, don't you think? When you defeat it, I'll be able to escape here with you. Notice I said when, not if. Gotta think positive. Uh, not much to heal, but we should first check to see what these guys can do. Launcher, medium attack, range fires one projectile. Technique, summons two bomb bomb allies. Pro shield, pro shield is reactivated at the beginning of turn, protects all forces of damage, but can be removed from a bomb explosion. Movement, wow, that's a big movement range. Uh, this girl's just standing here. She's not gonna do anything. But we also have two minions up the top, and also some other stuff. Okay, I think I am gonna make one change to my team, but it's only a brief change since we need to, like, probably have a better chance of surviving this boss battle. We'll just replace, um... you with Rabbit Peach instead. Have that reviver in case we need it. And we'll give a protector from Mario over to... Oh, uh, regular Mario over to Rabbit Mario and have our two bigger damage dealers here. They also probably safely swap this out for some kind of healing ability instead since look like we're gonna get any much AoE. Mm, it's but we will put that back on right away. And of course we need to feed as many sparks as we can up to the uh, I think I could probably just feed these two for now. Yeah, I can't feed anymore up to level 5. We'll just do those two for now. Well, you have that on as protection and Vavik Mario can use that on his first turn instead of what he would normally do. Otherwise, we might actually exchange Peach's skills a bit. Not heal jump refund, but refund actually some kind of movement, maybe, to get at least one extra dash. Maybe not two yet, but uh, three for now will actually be really good. Because another, this is yet another battle where we have to do just non-stop dashing. Alright. Yeah, and we're told that we have to pick up and throw bomb bombs, but we can't do anything with the bomb bombs yet, because we can't even tap them yet. So, what we have to do first is... Probably throw in characters only when they need to be in there. From it looks like King Bomb Bomb is separated from his own self in a different area, thankfully. Okay. 
because we can't really do much to Team Bottom itself right now, my plan is to take out of all these minions, especially these boys on the side that are actually gonna do more damage than any of the other threats combined. So, we'll remove them first, get them out of the way so we don't have to deal with them anymore, and then we can maybe make it so that we can uh, get a little bit easier. And we can also destroy our enemies as they appear. Other than that, though, uh, yeah, King Bomb Bomb is pretty much immune to damage. He cannot be damaged in his first turn regardless of what we do. So we have to kind of do a loop where we first team jump some of our allies to have him do stuff. All the while, he will spawn in minions each time. And so when these bomb on minions spawn in is when we have to actually go in and attack him. <laughs> okay, we got access to him now. Pathetic. Thankfully, King Bomb will spawn ones each turn, but only if we can, um, knock off his shield first. After that, we'll have to figure out our ways to damage him. We need to keep at least one character here at all times to damage down our enemies. Otherwise, until then, Rabbit Peach could probably give us a buff each time, each time to attack. Can start damaging this boss down. I like that Rabbit Mario can just do that attack, even though it's the only range, and then we can just run backwards here instead with him so that he doesn't take any damage from anything else. Edge does not have anything else, but he doesn't actually need to team jump, right? Because he's really close by. Oh God! I'm gonna have Peach move around a bit, just a bit, not too much. Mostly so we can dash this alley and see if we can't get to taking it out soon. We won't make it name itself first because we need to do other stuff first. Otherwise, we just need a character to do stuff. Now we have Squish Outs to deal with as well. Those are actually even worse because now they, they can bot over our abilities. We're already getting surrounded by enemies. I think our best off chance of doing this, Sal, is to first defeat the other enemies first. One at a time, though. Then we can get close enough once we have more bombs, and then we could, we could just outright beat him, or we can get enough minions to maybe do something. Either way, someone has to set race a bit of movement, and we're gonna have to probably split who does it on each side. So I think uh, I want. I think Rabbit Mario is probably better on the safe side. Actually, better. Even. Just attack, and if he defeats the enemy, he can just dash later. So we can attack now, dash later. Then we can dash that enemy. 
good. Well, there she am, because... Now we just need edge with this. We're just gonna dash normally. Just a dead weight. One and done. We don't have a way to do anything else now. We can either attack them and waste our time or do what I think is the best strat and just pro blade so it hits this enemy instead. Oh, we got flame it. I guess whenever we take those enemies out, it just flames our weapons. Oh, okay then. So if we defeat an enemy, that is of the one that we have to use. That Bond, the one that we turn into an orb after gone. It gives an effect to any character who dashes that opponent. That's something that I never knew until going into this. Ideally, now we can just defeat him right now. But we might not be able to. We'll see. If we use dashes, it would all be on edge, and all Edge would do with that is do everything. Okay, we have to use Vamp Dash now if we want to maximize our healing that Edge gets. At least. This time, instead of um, being destroyed if we don't get the right sound, at least now we have revival, so if for some reason something were to happen to one of our characters, we can revive them. But before I do anything, I should just probably focus on Inch's turn first. And we're gonna throw all of our attacks at Team Bomb off. Want more? Off you go! Just the bomb arms alone actually do a lot of damage to King Kong. We don't want anyone to be nearby him, by the way, because if Anyone is, uh, he won't be able to do anything. Okay, well, we got rid of that pure minion that showed up before. I know when bomb arms excel, they do a lot of damage. That is a thing that I remember. Is I don't think I have a way to avoid the effect of them. Okay. I'm just gonna have to go like this. Then just see where the bomb bomb is able to move to. Just this one. Okay, we can get out of range of that if we run inside. I'm sure if we got a better setup, this whole battle could have already been done by now, but... Then again, this is a new playthrough, we're still trying to learn about stuff, so I'm not surprised. Good. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. And the freeze didn't even activate. Oh, he's trying to be cheap. So unlike Bowser Jr., he's not trapped in that same section like uh, Bowser Jr. was. Instead, just kind of moves around where he pleases. Well, I think we've got him now. We just need to... Like this. Um... Actually, probably just finish him off with his own friends. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Hashtag winning. Oh yeah, we have to wait for that to play out.
Alright. The bell wasn't too bad, thankfully. Even more money. Alright. Let's see if we got enough tokens to get our starfishions now. I didn't see what happened, but... And we defeated one of the big ones. The giant King Bomb Bomb. Tell it, King Bomb Bomb. Beepo, did Kanya's reaction to losing the battle appear odd to you? It was almost as if she were pleased. Given how hot headed she is, I doubt we've seen the last of her. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right on that. Allegra immediately. She and her friend are still in grave danger. I just realized that was a bus spell. I should have used Rose, but mm. honestly, using Rabbit Peach there is probably safer. I want to have at least one healer, and also because we needed to dash, Edge was better. But if we get to a battle where mm, she cannot mm, dash, I guess we need to go here. Uh, let's just go here, I guess. See what happens. There is a battle set up we can back up if we want to. If for some reason we do get to a battle upon entering, I knew we were gonna force cuts in that way. I was just wondering. Oh, okay. The right. path is just flooded. uh. That water completely cuts us off from following Allegra on foot. All right. Yeah, I think I get that. I think I get that. Be yeah, genie. Fortunately, the weight carrying capacity of that boat should be sufficient to ferry us after her. All right. Yeah, wow. Cut out boat. Where's the wakeboard tower? <laughs> no, it looks like we got a few things to explore here. Explore here. Just talk correctly. Stingy. All right. Looks like we found our first everything. Let's bring that over here, and then we can look at doing some side quests. Do. <laughs> okay, we got our memory of Allegra now. Mm. <laughs> if we get to 35 at some point, uh, after we do that... Oh, hang on, what's this? This looks to be the first of several artworks depicting some of the history of the Melodic Gardens. Ahem. Some dawn songs ago, when the moon shone bright, a silver star fell upon the Melodic Gardens. We wondered if it had come to lead us to the lost melody. Okay. Now we're starting to get some origin of this area. Alright, I think... What I'm gonna do before I end this episode is I'm gonna just do all my action stuff now so I don't have to do it later in my next panel. Uh, let's do... What am I doing? Put that there. Get Vamp Dash up a little bit more. Uh, and then get Viver up more. And I'll actually check to see what this is. Oh, this is really just the same quake ability, but now it's electric instead. So that'll be useful if we need to electrocute something. And then, uh, vamp get in. Just, uh, vampire status again, but for the rain side of things. And, oh yeah, I forgot about Rose, yeah.
If Rose is still here. I'll try to use her eventually. I just had some other stuff. I think I might just stick with this team for a bit and maybe rotate it as we... Whether or not we need range or not. Uh, God, Peach, what's the next thing you want to get? Not an extra dash, that's for sure. Uh, we have to find something that is a one tier. I don't... Oh, okay, we have one over there. Then we have two over here. Hmm... I don't like that radius thing. I don't know why that was in there, actually. Get rid of that to instead have this effect go off and then increase our storm blade damage, I guess, because I don't have anything else to do. Then we might maximize this health later. And then, Revario, what do you get? I don't think I need area dash, so I'll just go counter blow instead. We can re-change Rabbit Peach again in case we need her to get more moved. Alright, um, assuming Mario might be brought in. Mario, I'm gonna have him get some stuff now. I think I'm just gonna focus on second helping now. So much so that I'll actually just get it right now. What Shirley means, by the way, is basically, um, sometimes they won't always defeat an opponent. And, oh, I guess one thing I could do when I get to the late game is remove everyone's spark refreshers to add a little bit more risks and cooldowns to the sparks, but in exchange, give each person a uh, spark energy. That's probably the best possible bill I can go for if I use that, because... Having a chance to grind a new action point is actually ridiculously broken because it can let some characters do certain things that wouldn't be possible otherwise. For instance, if I put an elemental effect on Rabbit Mario and he got lucky with... He can then immediately get vamp on something and then just attack everyone to heal up immediately. That would require that he got lucky. But it... Could lead to some very busted strategies. Alright, now that I've done that, we're gonna now save and call it quits. I like count now that we've done that one storyline battle, it jumped from 1% to 29%. So most of the percentage will obviously be the storyline, I guess. Just as usual. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. Be like you enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we continue through the melodic gardens and the Last Bug Hunter DLC. Until then, see you guys later. Bye.